Good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome to babylady.co.uk. Hopefully we are live multi-channel again. If you are watching on Facebook, do log in via streamyard.com and then we can see who's watching and we're going to see who's going to be first to comment today. We'd love to have your comments. If you are watching and you're not logged in through StreamYard, just say hello and where you're watching from. We would love to see who gets on first today. We have had a freezing cold weekend here in Canterbury. Um, I live just outside Canterbury, but we didn't get any snow. Oh, I was so disappointed. My so daughter, was I. <laughs> we're all really, really disappointed that we didn't get snow. I came in this morning and I could see cars with snow on their roofs. And I was like, oh, where would I have to go to see snow? But did you have snow? Where do you live? If you're watching today, let us know if you've had snow. Did you want snow? We actually quite liked a bit of snow. Um, Elizabeth from Devon has snow. Elizabeth, are you up first this morning? Well my, done, Elizabeth. My mum's on. Okay. <laughs> Hi, mum. Um, <laughs> Elizabeth in Devon. So we've got to go to, we can't go to Devon. Obviously, we can't go outside our area, but we wish we could snow. If you want to send us some pictures of your snow, we would love to see a bit of snow, Elizabeth. So, uh, yeah, we're just waiting for a few people to join us. Um, but yes, it's very cold here today. So if I start looking a bit cold, I've got my cardio on today because it's a bit chilly. Shani says we had snow in the West Midlands. Oh. I bet You're you jealous. did. You always get snow in the West Midlands, though, I think. I think West Midlands is very, like, we. you do get a lot of snow. I have relatives who live uh, just in the in the West Midlands, actually, in Cannock. I have relatives in Cannock. They always get loads of snow. Anyway, today, what we thought we'd do a little bit different in our live today is that we thought we would talk about how to buy a pram in lockdown. We know that it's very, very difficult for most of you at the moment when you can't go to shops, particularly if you are not... Uh, typical internet purchasers, or if you very specifically would like to push and feel things before you buy them, and you're nervous, you know, some of the things are very expensive, it's a big, expensive purchase, you don't necessarily want to make an expensive mistake. How can you do that in lockdown when you can't go to a shop? It is really difficult. But we will try and talk you through a few things that we think might help. So there's a few things that you need to consider when you're looking to purchase and you can't go and see it physically. First of all, one of the things that we always ask customers is to think about their lifestyle. Think about how they want to use it. Now, we know that this is quite difficult when you haven't already had your baby um, and you're trying to imagine how your life will be if it will be very different. But you may already be able to give yourself some pointers. So, for example, if you've got a dog um, or you've got dogs or you have a very outdoor lifestyle already, chances are that will continue when you have your baby. You're not going to suddenly stop doing those things. If you are the type of people that like to go to outdoor shows and things like that, that's probably going to continue. You're not going to want to stop doing that. So you need to take this into account when you look to purchase a pram that will be suitable for that terrain. One of the biggest things that we find with people when they are dissatisfied with their purchase, it's because perhaps they haven't chosen the right thing for their lifestyle. It's not necessarily that the product is a bad product. It may just be that it's not suitable for lifestyle. We do offer virtual appointments at the moment. So if you have more in-depth questions, then do get in touch and we can definitely do a one-to-one -one or a group message meeting so you can have more information. So yeah, so think about lifestyle. Now, if you are a very outdoor type of person going on that theme, it's really important if your wheels are going to get muddy, that you choose something that will cope with that type of terrain. And we have the gorgeous, we've moved all these around today. So we've obviously we've got the gorgeous Inglesina Aptica. We also do the eye candy all terrain. We do the mountain buggy ranges. Um, we do uh, Vista, which will do that sort of thing. But what is very, very important is you must have removable wheels. If you're going to go somewhere which is very muddy, if you don't have wheels that come off, what will happen is your mud will get caught around your swivel wheel mechanism. Um, actually, your oyster wheels do come off as well. Let me just use this one as an example. Put the brake on. Um, if anybody wants any little demos while we are on today or you have any questions, do message us. So you can take your oyster wheels. Oh, this spoiled me the other day because the button is under here. Do you see you can take your wheel off? This is not a perfect example because the mud can get trapped around it. And I think even Oyster would say this isn't really an all-terrain push jet. It's a multi-terrain, so it will go over cobbles and things like that. But you do need to be able to take your wheels off. If you can't get the wheels off the push jet you're thinking of buying, chances are you will get mud caked around this swivel wheel mechanism. 
and it won't then swivel as smoothly as it should. So this is a really, really important thing to, to bear in mind. And if you do need help identifying um, the, the right type of product, let us know. So the next thing we move on to is boot space. So obviously, a lot of us aren't really going very far at the moment, but we do hope that we will be able to soon, which means that your product needs to be able to fit in your boot. Ideally, it fits in your boot quite easily. So you need to take into account the car that you've got. And it all it's all very well. You might think, oh, I'm going to get a bigger car. But if you're not going to get a bigger car straight away, then you might want to think about something that's easily going to fit in your car. We have done a series of videos. Um, our staff, a couple of our staff have quite small cars. Um, and we have done a series of videos on our YouTube channel where you can actually see us trying things in the boot of the car. But there are a range of products that will fit into smaller car, seat, car boots. But you possibly don't want to think about a very big folding push chair. So do have a look at the folded sizes to make sure that it's going to fit into your boot as, you know, as easily as you want it to. Generally, when you are trying to fit things in your boot, we would recommend that you remove your parcel shelf because it will give you a lot more space and it will make it a lot easier to put things into your car. So the other thing you might want to consider when you're purchasing is weight. So if you have a back problem, if you have a lifting problem, or perhaps if you live somewhere when you've got to take it up steps and things like that, the weight is going to be very important. So you need to take that into account when you're purchasing. Have a think about the weights and also how you're going to maneuver and carry them. And that's obviously what we can talk you through in a virtual appointment. We can't do it in store at the moment, but we've replicated what we would do in store in a virtual appointment. So yeah, think about weight. We do have very compact folding push chairs. Um, the oyster will fold very compactly. We also do the babies and yo. Um, there are a range of quite compact folding push chairs, but also we do, we can get lots of things in like, for example, in a Fiat 500, there are a whole range of things that we can get in the boot of a Fiat 500. We've got a list of them. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know the egg one fits in a Fiat 500. Yeah, I'm not, eye candy. Eye candy fits this, in a uh, this Cybex preamp. So more than you think, more than you think. And our expertise, obviously, that's one of the things that we do here is that we do go out and try things in cars. Obviously, not your car at the moment because we can't do it. So we've been using our own cars. Um, the other thing you might want to think about moving on from that is future proofing. So some of our customers say to us, OK, I don't mind if I have to spend a thousand pounds, maybe a little bit more, but I don't want to do that again. So I want to spend that money wisely and I want to know that whatever I'm going to purchase is going to last. It's going to be durable. It's going to be strong and it's going to be hard wearing. But also perhaps maybe I might be able to double it up. And a lot of the products that are now on the marketplace do have that option where you can actually um, double them up. Obviously, the egg does that brilliantly because um, you can make that into a tandem with the option of adding a tandem adapter. The iCandy Peach does that. The Vista does it brilliantly. Um, you can't do that with the BB cars or the Oyster or the Inglesina. So there are options of the iCandy we've got up here. Um, we haven't got the push up because we didn't have a, I have ordered a really exciting new wide angle lens, but it still hasn't arrived yet. Normally Amazon next day let me down on this one. So it still hasn't arrived. We couldn't use it today, but it's coming. So watch out for that. Uh, so we can see more products in one in one view. Um, but yes, yeah, so there are lots of different options that you can have. If you think to yourself, there's a possibility that I might maybe have two children closer together. And I want to make sure that whatever I purchase, uh, Silver Cross Coast, Silver Cross Wave, they will all do those things as well. So we've got a whole range of things. And if you do need more help with any of those, then do let us know. And also you've got to consider within these frameworks, the other things we've already mentioned, like will it go on the how you want to use it with your lifestyle, the terrain, the boot, these are all things to consider. So that's why it's very, very complicated. And that's why if you speak to a specialist, they can usually help you and save you hours and hours of trolling through the internet, which is very, very confusing. Question, I think? Liam has asked, I'm six foot one, will the handles be tall enough? Good, very good point. So one of the things to look out for, and this is really hard when you can't go and walk with them, is handle height. Now, all of the handles on the push jets should have handle heights. Obviously, if you, um, if you have a live with us, we can do it. And also, we have recorded a lot of videos on our YouTube channel and we do usually measure the handle height. Liam, you do want to be looking for one that comes up really high. But the other thing that's really important to look for is that you want to make sure that you've got enough space to walk. 
um i'm only five foot two <laughs> with heels a bit more but um i'm not very tall so it's quite hard for me to replicate liam how how long you want to walk but you do want to make sure if you are looking for something you're taller that you haven't got a bar in the middle here if i turn this around i don't know if you can see this but you haven't got a bar in the middle here that's restricting where you're walking and you're ending up kicking it because that can be really annoying so just bear that in mind and also handles that are telescopic that come out when you're taller tend to be a little bit better than ones that flip up and down but yeah make sure you have got an extendable height handle some of them are longer than others i think you should be looking for something at least 107 probably 109 centimeters high handle height hopefully that helps but if you do want more information liam do get in touch and we, if you wanted a virtual appointment we can do that for you zoe said she loves the aptica xt we all love the aptica xt we all love the aptica uh, big wave out to Zoe. Um, so uh, yes, yeah, so, so those are things to consider in terms of handle height. That's a good point uh, from you. So we were talking about the doubling up. Um, the other thing is that you might want a pram that you fall in love with. So our customers who love BB car, and we love, we all love BB car here. This is a completely different type of pram, but obviously it's got to fit your lifestyle as well. They are stunningly, stunningly beautiful. We all love BB car here, we're big fans. Um, but you can get smaller wheels on your BB car as well. So if you need something a little bit more compact, but again, going back to this handle height, which Liam was talking about, can you see here that when we adjust our handle, it will get taller, but if you are very, very tall, it's not telescopic. So you just want to bear that in mind. I mean, I think if you were six foot one, you would be okay with that. But um, yeah, let's pop that back for a moment. I'm crashing the prams now today. Look, crashing the prams. I'll get the staff today. I uh, see so a boot size. Uh, we talked about the space. Um, any more questions? Alex has asked, can you put a car seat onto any of these prams? Good question. Thank you so much. Yes, I forgot to mention that. Most of the prams that are sold these days will have the option of having a car seat on them. Um, Pretty much, I think everything we've got here has got the option to have a car seat come. Some of them come with car seats in bundles. Um, bundles are tremendously popular at the moment. Uh, the reason bundles are popular is because you get sort of everything you need in one bundle. However, um, do bear in mind that everything that's included in the bundle may not necessarily be everything you want. And I think you have to ask yourself with the bundles, just look at the bundle and make sure that what is in that bundle is appropriate for your lifestyle as well. So going back to car seats, yes, um, pretty much everything will take a car seat that goes on top. Some of them will need separate adapters. Um, some of them won't. And obviously that will vary from brand to brand. But also please be aware, car seats are the safest form of transport in the car. They are not designed to replicate your pram. Now here at Baby Lady, pretty much most of what we sell will start with a carry cot. We do have some products that can be lay flat seat units, but most of what we sell starts with a carry cot. And this is because in research, independent research, the carry cot is the best way to start for your baby. It is the safest, um, it lays your baby completely flat, it's better for their breathing, their digestion, and also for their spine development because they really need to stretch and grow. And those first four or five months, five months really, um, are absolutely crucial to the development of your child. And everything, everything that goes on from then is down to that that stage. And I know that some people do say to us, oh, it's such a lot of money for a carry cot. Is it really worth the money? Yes, it is, because the, the benefit to your child is huge. So generally, going back to that, um, I'm sorry, I can't remember who asked that question. But uh, yes, they will include a car seat, but try to use your car seat primarily in the car because that's what it's been des designed for. So. Kira on Instagram has asked, what was the grey and black pram which you showed before? This one? Is this this one, Kira? Oh, I see. Great, great choice. This is the brand new Inglesina Aptica XT. Now, this is not available officially in the UK, but we have one of only three models in the UK because we love our friends at Inglesina and they very kindly let us borrow it. We did do a long uh, launch of this the other day and you can see that back on our Facebook and also on our YouTube channel. Um, it is an awesome product. It isn't just suitable for off-road, but it is 
ideally as well suitable for off-road. It's just beautiful. So if you want to see a longer demonstration of that, uh, then uh, have a look at those because they are, it is it's amazing. It is amazing. Shani yeah. on Instagram has asked, would you recommend carry pots in the car? I've seen some like BB car that can be strapped in. Great question. That's a really, really good question. So I wouldn't recommend them because in crash testing, the safest transport for your child is a car seat. They have been designed in that way, but there are, um, there are, huge differences within car seats. Car seats is one of the other features that we're going to do in one of our lives coming up because there is a huge, huge difference between um, different car seats. Now, I'm guessing you're asking that question because you do longer journeys. And if that's the case, then obviously I understand about the back support. But when you fit a carry cot into the car, it will have passed generally the 4404 testing but it is, it's very complicated to fit it in the car, having done them myself, because years ago, they used to be a lot more popular than they are now. We used to sell BB car carry cots and, and a lot of Hannay um, carry cots had these um, fixings that fix into the car. There is a high probability of fitting them incorrectly. And if your baby is not strapped in absolutely correctly into those carry cots, then potentially if you were in an accident, um, it, it may not be quite as safe as a car seat. Um, so generally i'm not a huge fan of the car fixing kits and um, they do come i know included in the bb car prams now and that's just how they're coming from europe um, and i think it makes a difference to the vat when you sell them with a car kit which is part of the reason why they're including them taz on instagram has asked a question about the eye candy peach yes is the handle sturdy as yes. i've read that sometimes it can be a little bit noisy right i'm just going to go and get it because we didn't have enough room on the front row for everything so let me go and grab an eye candy. Was it an eye candy peach? Yes. Eye candy peach, you see. We do have 60 prams on our shop floor. And obviously we couldn't have everything. Um, so this is an eye candy peach. And that's actually a really, really good question. Now, with the eye candy peach, <clears throat> when you extend the handle fully, you will get more movement. But this isn't just the eye candy peach. This would be with any telescopic folding pram. And this also applies to the egg. If we have a look at the egg. Um, oops. You pull the brakes on so they won't roll off. That floored me today. So if you have a look at the eye candy peach again, eye candy no egg again, you can see there is movement. The same thing with the eye candy peach. Now there are a couple of reasons for this. Um, if you have a handle that is completely rigid, what would happen when you tried to move it potentially up and down curves and things like that? It would just snap. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be safe. It would just snap because there's no give in it. So you do need a bit of movement. That is quite normal. The other thing that I just wanted to say, because I had a message about this last night from another customer, is, is it normal for the carry cot to rock? Yes, it is. Um, we can use the eye candy to demonstrate this. Again, the same thing applies. If you have a rigid fixing, it will potentially, it could snap. And also with your carry cot, you do want a little bit of rocking because as you're walking along, that movement rocks your baby to sleep, which is really good. So yeah, I hope that that um, it was, who was that question from? Taz. Taz, so um, as you can see, I'm demonstrating the eye candy handle now. Um, does that help? And if it doesn't, um, if you do want to see that in more detail, I think we have recorded a video on our YouTube channel, but if you'd like a personal uh, virtual appointment, then we can go through the eye candy in more detail with you and happy to do that, absolutely happy to do that. Um, Charlotte has asked, I'm on quite a strict budget. Yep. Is there a pram which you would suggest? Yes, absolutely. I'm just going to pop these over here out of the way. <clears throat> Taz has said, thank you very much. You're very, very welcome. And thank you very much for joining us today. Um, <clears throat> who was it that asked about the budget? Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte. Um, yes, we do. We have, I think we have things for most customers. But I also think that is important. We are um, honest that our our product range is generally aimed at middle to upper marketplace products rather than the very very budget end and the reason they're not aimed at the very very budget end is because the quality when you go down below a certain point becomes uh, very different and if we sell you as a customer and obviously um, you know, we are here as a store, we are a store. If we sell you something and you have a problem with it, it's not just a case of we sold it to you, bye bye. It's our responsibility to resolve that problem for you. So we tend to steer away from products that have 
um, issues where their customer service is very poor, where we don't get the backup or where we know that things generally are not very well made because that reflects badly on us. So, um, but in terms of products that are competitively priced, we do have things for all budgets. Oh, now this is, <laughs> this is the joy of life. We made this on Saturday and obviously they didn't put the wheel on. This does not normally happen. I can assure you, look, the wheel's on fine now. <laughs> the joy of life. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so fun. Sorry, completely threw me then. Um, this, <laughs> this is the Maxi Cozy Zelia. Uh, Zelia 2, actually. Um, and it's actually quite a good value for money little product. This will not work the way the Ingolcina, the egg, the eye candy works. But it's £299. If you are on a very tight budget and you have a limited amount of money to spend and you don't want to buy second hand, we can find something that will be suitable for you. Um, it's actually a great little product. It works really, really well. Again, we have done an individual video of this on our YouTube channel. I won't demonstrate everything here because we would be here for hours. Um, I'd be quite happy, but I think you'd be quite bored. Um, but it is actually a very good product. Um, I haven't had any wheels falling off. It's uh, just us not being able to put them together properly. Um, but yeah, gave everyone a bit of a laugh this morning. But yes, do get in touch. Who was that from? That was from Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte, if you want more help, um, and if you are on a tight budget and you need some help, don't forget we also do offer payment plan. So if your baby's due later in the year, I don't know when your baby is due, um, we can stretch the payments for you to allow you more time to pay for things, which sometimes makes you be able to buy something maybe a little bit more. I'm just going to pop that back over there. But yeah, so we do have something for every, you know, not every budget, but a lot of budgets. We also, going back to the whole thing with the carry cots, obviously we are huge fans of carry cots. They are much better for your baby, but there are a number of products that you can use without a carry cot as well. So this might work perhaps if you have a smaller car or also if you are on a tighter budget and you don't want to buy a carry cot. Things like the Oyster does have a lay flat seat unit. Uh, the, the Priam, the gorgeous Cybex Priam has a lay flat seat unit. And again, what we might do is a later uh, live on uh, seats that can be used without carry cots. Another question, I think. Holly on Instagram has asked, can you recommend can you recommend a pram good on all terrains but would fit in a Fiat 500 boot? Oh, well, Chelsea, what do you think? So the eye candy does fit in yep. the boot. But the wheels don't come off. The front wheels don't come off. They're okay. You only have to remove one of the rear wheels. No, but in terms of all terrain, um, you could potentially have then the, the eye candy all terrain. We haven't had that back into stock yet because it was out of stock for such a long time. Um, how all terrain? Who was that asked that question? Holly. Holly. I mean, I think it depends on how all terrain you want it to be. Inglesina Aptica, that would fit in a. So the Aptica XT, we haven't tried in a Fiat 500, but we will, as a result of your question, we will do that and we'll let you know how we get on. Um, we know that the Inglesina um, normal Aptica, that will fit and fold quite compactly. You might have to take one wheel off. Um, the Also, you could have the mountain buggy mountain buggy urban which isn't on the front row here um at the moment just because we have 60 prams and i only had like six lots um, but that will also go um all terrain but i would suggest that um holly if you would like more information about um, your particular circumstances if you get in touch with us or we'll message you afterwards um if you want a virtual we can actually talk you through the things that we think might be more suitable for you but there will be things that you can have definitely Sarah on Instagram has asked what which everyone's on Instagram today. <laughs> do we have anyone watching on YouTube or, or do, Facebook? Yeah, do. let's um, have some questions from you next. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sarah has asked which pram would you recommend for all, ter all terrains but the seat unit folds? Oh, Shall definitely Inglesina Aptica. You've got to have a look at the video. Um, it is, I haven't got the seat unit here, which is annoying, but um, it is fantastic. We haven't got a seat unit, have we? We've got a seat unit. Um, it is this one is just amazing. Um, also, one of the things all terrains. Obviously, we're getting lots of questions about all terrains, so I'm just going to quickly try and do this because I know you're interested. Um, one of the things with all terrains is that generally a lot of them do not have seat units. That thank you so much. Chelsea is manning all the tech today and she's doing a fantastic job. Um, they don't have seat units that are reversible, and we like seat units that are reversible. In fact, we didn't even talk about that yet. Um, most of the products that we sell at Baby Lady will have seat units that will face you. And the great thing about this is that it does have a seat unit that will parent face. 
Um, you can turn the seat unit around as well. Was that actually the question about parent facing seat units? Um, there was another question. I went off Sarah. tangent a little bit there, sorry. The question I love was this about the pram folding up with the seat unit attached, but we do have another one asking what are the benefits of a rear and well facing. Okay, so this will fold up with the seat unit on um, and it is um, the benefits of having um, parent facing seat units. So just before I fold this up the seat unit on, um, if you have a seat unit that faces you, there are lots and lots of different benefits. Obviously at the moment, particularly in the world we live in we don't really want to push our baby into other strangers we don't know about germs and things like that so it's quite nice to have them parent facing but the biggest single reason for having them parent facing is that they learn from your speech patterns educational specialists have um have said that by when you walk along and i know that people thought i was absolutely crazy when i used to do this i walk along with my children and like make little faces at them and go goo goo gaga you know okay yes that sounds really mad when you've got no one in a push chair but you do it anyone who's anyone who's already had a baby give me a hands up if you've done that if you've walked along and you've done that to your baby go give me a hands up or a wave um we definitely do it and they learn speech patterns from that and it's actually very important for their development um so they have proven that it's, it's if you adopt a child they do always say that you must have a, a parent facing seat unit because it helps with bonding and things like that so this seat unit can turn round. it's very easy to do so i'm just going to swing it around um and it will fold up with the seat unit on it's my tada moment. Who is this for? This was for Sarah. Sarah, there you go. That's my tada moment. <laughs> we do love this about the Ingles Inn. Obviously, if you have something like the mountain buggy, because um, we're talking all terrain at the moment, that will also fold up with a seat unit on it, but it doesn't parent face. It doesn't allow you to have that option of parent facing. Um, in terms of all terrain, if you had the eye candy all terrain, you can also fold that up, but you can't fold it up with a seat unit off. You would have to take you can't, yeah, you can't, with the eye candy or train, you would have to take the seat unit off. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else now. But if uh, if you've messaged us, Vista as well. Yeah, Vista, um, we can, I think probably you might, you might find it helpful to have a virtual and we can pull out the appropriate things. If you do book a virtual appointment with us, what we do before your virtual is we try and ask you a series of questions to narrow down what we think are going to be the most suitable things so that we're here, we have them out ready for you. So we can show you things that we think most might be most suitable. Um, you can actually fold the Vista um, with its seat unit on. And this, I haven't got the seat unit for it here, but this also is all terrain. Um, it's not probably as all terrain as the uh, Engelsina, which is super, super all terrain. But um, Vista is a very, very good all round product. We love the Vista. It is also future proof. Um, and there's lots and lots of benefits to the Vista. But if you do want more information on that, do let us know. We've got another question on Instagram going, do we have any Venici prams? We do have Venici prams. We haven't got them on display here today. They are behind us. We have a whole stand of Venici. We also have a whole stand of Silver Cross. We just couldn't get everything in the picture today. Um, oh, so we've got a Silver Cross here. Actually, we have got one. Um, but yes, we do have Venici. Um, do you have a specific question about Venici or um, is it just generally you want to know about, do we do them? I think it might just be do we do them okay and watch out we have a new Benici coming the new exciting Tinham special edition is coming very very soon and we will be doing a live launch on that as well jody on instagram <laughs> has said that she absolutely loves the look of the blue pram behind you yep yeah, so this is the uh, new oyster three um this is regatta um it's one of the gorgeous new color ranges in this it's lovely isn't it it's really really stunning it's such a popular choice as well. Um, folds very, very compactly. Uh, we do normally sell a lot of oyster. Um, it's a bit more difficult, obviously, when uh, you can't come into store, but it's a great choice. We have had massive supply issues with oyster. Um, it has been a very, very long lead time. And I know some of you are still waiting for a few bits and pieces. Almost everything is in. There's a couple of bits we're still waiting for now for customers, but pretty much most of them are starting to filter through. What I would say with oyster, um, it is a great choice, but um, do order early at the moment because stocks are taking, <clears throat> excuse me, quite a long time to filter through to us. But yeah, this is Regatta. Um, whoever that was, I'm sorry, I've forgotten. Jodie. Jodie, if you want a personal demonstration, that do let us know. Um, it is one of Chelsea's absolute favourites. I love it. She will be more than happy to do that for you. And there is also a video on our YouTube channel. 
Um, also, the new Oyster Lux, which is not out here, we do have, as a, as a part of the Association of Independent Nursery Retailers, we do have a special edition Oyster called the Lux, which is a little bit more luxurious. And again, if you search Oyster Lux, you will find that on our YouTube channel. Do we stock the Benici Silver Spark? Uh, we don't have it on our shop floor, but we can get it. Um, it is very pretty. Um, Vinici prams are very pretty and very, very good value for money. You do get a lot in your bundle, um, so they are very good value for money. So, yes, if you would like us to give you more information on that, um, just ping us a question or give, ping us a message and we can help you. Zoe has said that the Oyster 3 is great for small boots. It is good for great small boots, and we have tested this in the back of the Fiat 500, whoever it was earlier who asked about the Fiat 500. Depending on how off-road your lifestyle is, you can take the wheels off the Oyster 3, and it does fold incredibly compactly. Um, actually, I haven't got a seat unit here um, now, but I will just quickly fold this up and show you without the seat unit. It does fold with the seat unit on, um, and it is very, very compact. So just to show you how super compact the Oyster is, those of you who have got small boots, we can always find something. The only person I, was I wasn't able to help once had a convertible beetle. And the, uh, the size of the convertible beetle boot was like, the entrance was like this. Uh, that, that's literally, I think, of all, and I've been doing, 30 years we've been doing this, 30 years of celebrating Baby Lady. Um, that's the only person I couldn't find a pram to fit in their boot. So you can see that it's very compact. You can take the wheels off as well. Um, Shani on Instagram yes. has said that she's hoping to get to a store soon to try them all out. But what is the latest I can leave ordering a fam? I'm due in July at the moment. We're interested in the Egg 2 and BB Car Stylo class. Great choices, both beautiful, very different, very, very different choices. Um, I actually had a customer buy both once because they couldn't decide <laughs> one. Uh, the, <laughs> the lady wanted the Stylo and the guy wanted an egg. It was very hard to choose. Um, What's the latest you can order? If we're allowed to open in March, then I think you'll be okay. Um, but at the moment, we just, we have no guidelines. Um, you know, who knows? I, I, I don't have the answer to that question. I think, Shani, that if you're due, in, did you say you're due in July? I think it depends on whether you're due early July or late July. Um, if you're due early July, you really need to be ordering by March the way things are going. And also we've got lots of other things to contend with. A lot of products come from China, still come from China, and China are coming up to Chinese New Year, which means they stop production for three weeks, um, nothing gets made, and of course that's going to slow everything else up. We've also got shipping issues with containers. There are not enough containers to get back to China to ship the goods, and this is having a knock-on effect. So those of you who've been waiting a long time for your stock to come in, I am really, really sorry. We have done I mean, actually, when I talk to some of my friends who've got nursery stores elsewhere in the country, I think they are having a lot worse problems than we are. We have tried really, really hard to manage both your expectations and keep a good stock in our warehouse, which we do have a big offsite warehouse to make sure that you get your orders on time. And there's pretty much most of them we have we have managed. The foodie couple on Instagram has asked, does the Cybex Cloud Z fit on the iCandy Peach Serium? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And it looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I think there is a video on our YouTube channel, but if I can find the car seat adapters, I will go and grab it right now and show you because it is a great pairing, um, awesome product. We absolutely love the Serium. It is very, very smart. These are the car seat adapters and the Cloud, again, is absolutely gorgeous. Let me just go and grab it. Nothing like live, is there? Nothing like live. <laughs> so this is the Cloud Z. Just gonna pop it on there like that. And you can lay it down. Um, so when we were talking earlier about car seats, I mean, you can't lay this down in the car, but there are a couple of options for that lady who was asking about putting cars, uh, carry cots in the car. There are a couple of options where you can have car seats that will lay down in the car. So if you are doing a lot of journeys, um, the Cloud Z only lies down when it's on a pram or sort of in your house. It won't lie down in the car. But yeah, don't you think that looks gorgeous? Was that who's that foodie? Foodie couple. Do you know what? You're making me feel hungry. <laughs> what do you sell, foodie couple? Or do you just love food? Because I'd love to know. Um, but you're making us feel hungry now. A little so parcel has arrived for the staff here today from, uh, I, I wasn't going to give it away. Zoe's not here to open it today. We're going to keep one 
but when she's back but um yeah there's a couple of things that i've ordered this little we do like our food here at baby lady in fact it is generally one of the interview questions that i ask people if they like chocolate because if they don't then um <laughs> we all love our food we do love our food shani said that's exactly the dilemma that me and my husband are having he wants the egg and i want the bb car oh you know i i get this i do get this um I mean, the BB cars are beautiful. If you want something a little bit different, a little bit special, they are very beautiful. Um, that's a toughie. You know, I, I, oh, and we do have this dilemma when we have couples um, in store a lot and one likes one and one likes the other. I think it's just a question of trying to weigh up um, how you're going to use it. Who, I mean, who's going to push it most? Um, there you go. Who's going to push it most? <laughs> But that's the that's the cloud dead on the serium for that person who asked that question. Um, right, we've we've sort of gone a little bit over time today, but it's a very big subject. Um, just to recap, if you are watching, please like and share to your page as well. I forgot to say that earlier. I am learning. This is all new to us. You see, we've had to flip the way that we do business at Baby Lady. Um, but because we are small, uh, we can adapt. I say we're small. We are very, very passionate about what we do here. Um, and our virtual appointments are going really, really well. Um, people who've had virtual appointments have said really positive things about them. Um, and a lot of people have found them very, very helpful. It's not ideal that you can't come to store, but we just have to make the best of it. So we'll bring you, we'll continue to bring you the latest and the most up-to-date information that we can. And we're here behind the scenes answering the phones and answering your questions. And there is a big difference there, is that if you purchase from us, um, and I think actually we did have a question on that about warranties. Um, if you purchase from us, you have the confidence in knowing that we will follow your purchase right the way through. If you have a problem down the line, you have got someone you can talk to. It's not a blank internet email you send and no one replies for three days and no one gets back to you and you're sat there with frustration. You can talk to us. Um, I'm not saying we're here 24 hours a day, but we are monitoring um, the phones and the messages a lot, um, a lot more than most companies, I think. Yes, one more question. Francesca on Facebook has asked, do we sell the bugaboos? We do sell the bugaboos. They're not here at the moment. Um, what I would say with bugaboo is they we are having a few after sales issues with bugaboo at the moment. Um, and that's probably why we didn't put them on the on the front row here today. Um, we've always had, I had a bugaboo actually 16 years ago with my son, 17, 16 years ago. Um, I loved it, absolutely loved it. But we have had a few issues with quality on bugaboos at the moment. Um, and bugaboo are taking quite a long time to resolve them, which isn't, what we want for you as a customer. Um, we really want a much quicker uh, resolution. If anyone's watching from Bugaboo, um, if you could let us know how we could get them resolved a little bit quicker, um, that would be really, really good because we don't want to be phoning you and messaging you every day. Um, so any more questions before we finish? Okay, so who's been watching today? Can we can we give we'll anyone a shout out? Let's give a few people a shout out. Ellie, Chelsea's gonna shout out. Ellie, Caitlin, Tori, Chanel, Shani, Nasty, Caitlin, Elizabeth, so many people, and Ozzy. Oh. Oh, well, I would really, really like to thank you all for joining us today. Um, I don't know what you're up to. If anybody wants to tell us what they're doing with the rest of their day, we're going to go and open a nice parcel of goodies that's arrived now because we deserve it. Because <laughs> we like a bit of sugar here. <laughs> but if you do want to book a virtual appointment, um, if we can help you um, in a more more one to one or we can also set up virtuals where you actually share um, if you want to share, I mean, in the past, we'd have people come with their parents or parents-in-law. You can now do that on a virtual. If you have a Zoom virtual appointment, we can actually set that up so on a shared screen so you can both see and be part of the buying experience. It's not perfect, but it's the best that we can offer and the best that we can do. We're investing, obviously, in better um, technology so that we can bring this to you. Um, and hopefully our new wide angle camera will be here by the time we do our next live. So thank you, everybody. And I know there have been loads and loads of you. And if we haven't got to your questions, I think questions are still pinging in. If we haven't got to all your questions, we will get back to you today. Um, give us some time because there's quite a lot come in today. And thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And most of all, stay safe and stay well.